Welcome to the Brass and Woodwind Shop. Almost all woodwind instruments have both pivot screws and hinge rods which hold the keys onto the instrument. This video is going to be about the different types of pivot screws. Pivot screws are little screws that the key pivots around and if a key has pivot screws instead of a hinge rod it's going to have two pivot screws and one goes in one post and one goes in the other post. The rod on the keys that connects these two posts is solid and it's not hollow. Just the ends are drilled out to fit the pivot screw. There are three types of pivot screws and I have the pivot screws here but I also made a drawing to enlarge them so you can see them better. This type of pivot screw has the shoulders on it and that will go into the post and once the shoulders hit the counter bore on the post it will stop right there and it has a cylindrical end on it. This pivot screw also has the shoulders on the head of the screw so that when it screws into the post it goes up to the counter bore and then it stops on the shoulders. And at the end of the screw there is a tapered portion that holds the key on. The third screw has no head on the screw so you need to screw this into the post the right amount. If you screw it in too far the key will be stuck and if you do not screw it in far enough the key will be loose. Each of these three different types of screws has advantages and disadvantages and also there are different ways to work with each of these three types of screws. Look in the description below for the links to the three videos, one on each of the different types of screws. But for right now I will go over each of these briefly. This is the pivot screw with the cylindrical head and the shoulders on the head of the screw. This is the drawing of the pivot screw and also the posts. And the posts are the things that hold on the pivot screws right there. They come out of the body of the clarinet and they hold the pivot screws in and then they hold the key on to the instrument. The screw screws in until it hits that counter bore in the post and then the screw stops. Right here you are seeing a drawing of what it looks like inside of this post and this post. And the key goes in between these two and the key looks like that and it has a drilled out portion that fits into the pivot screw right there and it is cylindrical like the pivot screw is cylindrical. This key pivots back and forth on those two pivot screws. Like on this key it pivots around those two pivot screws that are in the post. This is the pivot screw with the shoulders on the head of the screw and the pointed end and it looks like this and it's similar to the other one and the key is on there like that and again the key pivots around those two pivot screws. On these screws the cutout inside of the rod on the key would be tapered to match the screws. This is the other pivot screw at the tapered end and there is no head on this screw. This system looks like this and then the rod of the key goes in between there like on the other ones and the cutout is shaped like the key just like the other ones. The difference is that you need to control by how far the screws go in and out. You control how tight the key is. If the screws are in too far then the key gets stuck and if the screws are out too far the key wobbles around. I hope this video has been helpful. Look in the description below for a link to the three videos on the three different types of pivot screws and please subscribe for more band instrument repair videos.